Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, Global just got the data download for the upcoming Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And in today's video, we're gonna check out everything that was added to the game together. Okay, so uh, obviously most of this data download was for the animations and the assets for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta himself, as well as the new side unit, the Fizz Nova Shenron, and this free to play um, GT Grade Ape. Vegeta, okay, and in terms of when they're all coming out, it's gonna be on January 31st, 2021, so in about two days at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on February 1st, okay? So aside from the assets for these guys, we also got a few other interesting things. By the way, a big shout out to Air Dokkan on Twitter for posting this. So as you can see, we are going to be getting a new Dokkan Festival ticket, and this of course is going to be for the Gogeta banner. And I'm assuming that you will have to buy these in the Pilafs Trove. There's probably not going to be any available for free, but uh, for people that are willing to spend a little bit of money on this game, these ticket packs are typically pretty decent. So yeah, Dokkan Festival ticket for Gogeta. And we also have these love-filled chocolate items, which of course are going to be part of the uh, Valentine's Day celebration. And if you guys forgot about what these do, uh, they're basically used to exchange for a few waifu characters. So you can use 500 of these to get yourself a copy of the Tech Android 18, Infidel, or the AGL Mai, or these waifu support items, or I mean... Baba's here, I guess for some people, she might be a waifu. Not really my taste, but you know, everyone's different. So uh, yeah, last year we got the launch support item, the Android 18, Chilai, Baba, and uh, Princess Snake. I'm hoping this year they do give us a few more choices for these waifu characters. Uh, maybe something like AGL Khalifla, Is Kale, the base Kale and Khalifla into Rebrianne, stuff like that, right? I mean, I don't really need any of those units, but for other people, I feel like that'd be nice to give them a few more options aside from these three right here. So that's what the chocolate's gonna be for. And uh, finally, before we go, let's quickly go over the details for this Nova Shenron and the free-to-play into Vegeta because I didn't talk about them before. And uh, if you guys wanna know what the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta does, feel free to go check out the video that I made yesterday when uh, Gogeta was first announced in-game, okay? so. Starting with the Nova Shenron here, his leader skill is Shadow Dragon Saga Category Key plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 120%, Super Attack, raises attack for 3 turns, causes supreme damage, and seals Super Attack. His passive is Attack and Defense plus 140%, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 40%, and high chance of performing a critical hit when attacking extreme class enemies. And then key plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when there is a Shadow Dragon Saga category enemy. And then Shadow Dragon Saga category super allies, defense plus 40%. So essentially, he's one of those units that are kind of conditional, right? Like he's either really, really good or just like not bad depending on which enemy you're fighting. Like if you're fighting an extreme class enemy, then he's going to be getting attack plus attack and defense plus 180 percent if it's a shadow dragon saga extreme class enemy then he's going to be getting key plus two and attack and defense plus 220 percent but of course if you're not fighting an extreme shadow dragon saga category enemy then he's only getting attack and defense plus 140 percent which is still not bad but given his fairly low stats he's not going to be that impressive although i do like this little bit of extra support. I wish it was a little bit of attack too, but it is what it is. His links are Gentleman, Cold Judgment, Shocking Speed, GT, Shadow Dragons, Revival, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Shadow Dragon Saga, Resurrected Warriors, and Worthy Rivals. So that is the Nova Shenron for you. And for this Vegeta, once again, he is free to play, and his leader skill is Giant Ape Power Category, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50% or int types key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 30% super attack raises attack for one turn causes supreme damage and lowers attack and lowers defense sorry and his passive is attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% when there is another giant ape power category ally attacking the same turn and turns into giant ape 
when conditions are met. And the condition is turns into giant ape when HP is 50% or less starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. Once only, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Prodigies, Saiyan Roar, Royal Lineage, GT, Transform, and Shattering the Limit, and categories are Shadow Dragon Saga, Giant Form, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Worthy Rivals, and Giant Ape Power. And of course, I'll quickly show you guys his Great Ape or Giant Ape transformation. There it is, passive is Keepless 1 and causes destructive damage to enemy, and that is your giant ape Vegeta, who is going to be farmable from a, a new GT story event. Oh, also there's the new stage for an older GT story event where we can farm a Shadow Dragon Saga category exclusive skill orb, so that's also nice. But uh, aside from that, and of course the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, once again go check out my video from yesterday if you want to know what he does. Um, that is everything that this data download had to offer, there's not much else to talk about. I will of course be doing my summons live as soon as the banner drops at 1am Eastern Standard Time on February the 1st, so if you guys want to see that then make sure to keep your eye out for the scheduled stream. And uh, aside from that, I'm very curious to know guys, how many of you plan to summon or this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, because I know a lot of people were like very, very intent on saving for him before we learned about the 6th anniversary units, but now that we know it's mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, how many of your plans have been disrupted? You know, like how many of you guys that were planning to summon for Gogeta are now going to be skipping him and saving? for the anniversary. I mean, I wouldn't blame anybody. I think that is definitely a smart thing to do, but Godita is still a absolute monster in his own right. And uh, he's definitely a unskippable unit for me. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys plan to do. And of course, I will be going into uh, some more information or some more details about like his banner, his category and all that stuff in the upcoming pass or pull video, probably dropping tomorrow or the day after, which would be Sunday, right? Coming soon, if you guys are on the fence, then hopefully that video will help you figure everything out. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to Air Dokkan for the assets. And uh, of course, shout out to DBZ Space for always coming through as well. And uh, as always, guys, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out